Hey guys, before we start filming the technique, I would like to give a shout out to two guys who were the impetus to film this move. They were like an inspiration. It's uh, Fernando, my friend and student, and Brett Milano. Guys, thank you very much. Uh, it's gonna be a, a bit lengthy, bear with me. So for the longest time, whenever somebody was attacking my single leg with a head outside, that would be my choice to do sumigayashi, or as we call in Russian, prasok chiris golo suporam stapy bidro, or suporam goelni bidro, or chiris golo, over the head throw, right? So uh, if uh, Dennis attacks me and his head was on the outside, this inside arm would present an easy target, and because head was separated, the throw would be easy, and subsequent attack would be easy too, right? So I'll, uh, I'll get my Kimura grip first, Right? Number one, I will always have my, uh, as I'm obtaining the grip, I will have my leg far, because if it's close, it can dump me easy here, right? And whatever I obtain the grip, then I have to hop in to close the distance, and uh, I want to throw him. Also, some people I, I witnessed, uh, I experienced a bit of a, a lash back to, uh, to, uh, to this throw, because it's allegedly dangerous to my partner's head. True, everything is dangerous when you grapple or do combat sports, right? But the idea to enter so hard and kick him so hard over that he will spin direct to his shoulder blades or back by passing any head spike. All right, guys. So uh, when you're being submitted, you tap because you know it's coming. Same thing with throws. If you know what's going on, good Uki, once he's being flung, should be compliant with the throw as opposed to smashing his head or or arm. Um. So it basically goes uh, to a proper execution, a and b uh, culture. Right. So this guy should know what's going on. All right. So. Hopefully, I combat those uh, critics who do not like Sumigayashi with a head to the outside. So he shot head on the outside, or maybe he shot with head on the inside, and I was able to stop it to the outside. Boom, arm um, is here. I get my Kimura, then I, I yeah, hop in and I kick him hard. And because of head separation and body position, the landing is going to be like this without a Kimura trap. With a plethora of finishes, you can rock up and finish actual Kimura. You can straddle, finish Kimura here, right? Uh, if he puts his hands together, I can get my leg in here and go for anywhere a triangle. I can go for hand scissor. I can go for conventional arm bar. Yada yada yada. We know all that stuff. So the reason why I never taught Sumigayashi against single leg with the head on the inside because I experienced this situation. So somebody was here. Uh, you know, their posture was bent over, I was able to uh, lean over them. And again, you can collect the arm fairly easy, like this. But what happened, as I threw the guy, uh, he maintained the lock, number one. And number two, I ended up all the way on the opposite side. So he was still in contention to either A, leg lock me, or finish the single. So what I'm saying is this, I hop in, I'm here, I get like this, then he gets to his knees, and he's still working a single. So that was my rationale now, it was not just like, I don't like it. It was, uh, it was a thought put behind it. Until Brett Milano, kudos to you again, uh, I started doing it again. So what you do, do not chase him. There is no need to come all the way on the opposite side and still be uh, in a uh, single uh, leg uh, position. All you gotta do is just do not trail, put the brakes on, and duck on your back and kick him hard. Or elevate hard. So I'm here. There we go. Just like that. All right, guys, and now we can work a, a bunch of things. So if he's still, uh, if his arms are still attached, what I'm gonna do, get my leg here, get, break the grip, and hook it, right, guys? So let's get bigger, remember? Not like crucifix, do not trap with this leg. There's a reason why. We wanna trap with this leg, triangle. All right, nice tight pinch on the Kimura. Now, my wrist arm is gonna weave and go in an armpit, and I'm gonna pop to my knees. You see what's happening here? Crucifix, uh, before Marcelo uh, coiled the turn crucifix, this was the crucifix, which is basically a modified full Nelson. And that's exactly the action we're about to apply. I'm gonna pop to my knees, whoop, oh, sorry. And uh, as I'm flaring his right arm with my right leg and his left arm with my right arm, I'm gonna lean my body into him. There we go, and that's our crucifix. And even if you don't find yourself in position Even if you don't find yourself in position to do uh, that one, there is other ones, like break the grip and you can go on with a, a conventional Kimura trap uh, system. But like I said, just try this out. Scoop, here, here, come up gently, guys. 
And here's our modify Nelson. Once again, the throw. Dennis is attacking me, head on the inside. I have the flag far away, the leg the Kimura, then hop in. Keep him hard. Boom. And that's the finish that Fernando came up with. He was doing something else in the beginning. So we had our open session, our laboratory. I love doing that. And after playing with different leg position, body position, this was the final conclusion. We decided it will work the best. Give it a try. Even if you don't finish submission, you will stop the single and counter with the throw and come on top. Go train. <laughs>